So we're going to be doing some Muay Thai gameplay here today, guys. Uh, Muay Thai, uh, you know, it's it's okay nowadays, but it's a little bit outdated. I feel like it has a lot of problems with, like, um, closing the gaps on some people. Oh, didn't quite work out there. Oh, nice deflect there. Oh, 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 he's mixing me up. Good stuff, hybrid. But, uh, you know, it, he has a few problems with, you know, maintaining his distance, but he still has a lot of great things about what he does. There we go. Let's go ahead and hock him an edge, kick him. That's what we do when we knock people down, guys. We gotta capitalize nowadays in this, uh, tough, tough meta. We gotta do what we can do. Alright. So, yeah, a lot of things about Muay Thai really require a lot of great, uh, handling. Like, you know, you've got to be good at following up on your face if you're going to play this character. Oh, he's just too good at deflecting. It's hard to get by what he's doing. Oh, that was close. Okay, I had to use that skill there. Oh, oh, look out! No, no! The Mai almost got me. The Mai almost got me. Oh, close, close. Oh, he went for the armor there. Oh! Let's go ahead and pop this weapon skill. Did not work out too well, though. Oh, no. Woohoo. Facing the Hawaii, not easy. Almost got him. Almost. Okay, he blocks a lot, so I had to do that. I had to do that. He's blocking too much. He's looking for that deflect. Uh, when people are really good at deflecting, sometimes you got to make them stop and wonder, are you going to guard break them instead? Are they going to keep blocking? Should they keep blocking? Uh, that's what you got to make people guess on. I'm trying to get one of these good little um, feints, but I'll try to edge him. Oh, I got interrupted! Darn, out of from nowhere, pretty much. Oh, look out! And the armor skill, of course, is not going to work really. Oh, almost, almost. Look out for hybrid there. Oh, we got a pro wrestler in the mix here. Oh, oh, that was really close there. Really hurt me. Oh no! Nice, nice get there with the psychic. Uh, oh, I'm glad that thing doesn't work half the time. Oh, nice counter. He was expecting me to do like the guard breaker, but I was actually just, you know, mixing it up a little bit there. And the psychic, I believe, got me there. So off to a bad start of Muay Thai here, guys. What you really want is to get your feints and uh, just, you know, you got to get it together with his feints and all that. It's, it's kind of hard to do, but uh, if you can get it, you can be a really good Muay Thai player, except you do have, like, you know, the lack of range. That, that becomes a problem. Oh, my gosh. Oh, I just get hit every time I start attacking someone. There we go. Got a knockdown, at least. Gotta watch out for the psychics, though. They can really hurt you. Almost! Oh, I think I did get the edge there. Lucky, lucky hit there. Lucky hit. So let's see. What we got down here? <laughs> Alright! That works. That works. Oh, no! I was trying to avoid that Lucifer armor and got edged by the running back there. Let's see. Let's try to get an edge with the trinket. Trinket's a lot better than what it used to be. Uh, yeah, there he goes with that deflect. Oh, oh, Earth Mage. Try the armor, why not? Oh, it actually worked! Look at that, guys! The armor worked! That was amazing. I'm always amazed when something like that actually ends up working. Alright, so let's see. Hybrid. Oh, <laughs> I just edged myself. That was pretty terrible. I'd like to break free, because if I can manage to 1v1 someone, get someone alone, I could actually probably do some better work than what I'm able to do right there. There's there's a nice faint, guys. That's what you want out of the character, usually. Uh, but you don't always get it because you end up getting interrupted by a psychic in the back. <laughs> Alright, so let's try it. Here's a, here's a nice guy to fight. Hopefully he doesn't have like a million skills to kill me with. And there comes the psychics again. Uh-oh. Whoa. Whoa, got him. Oh. oh, he jumped up. That's a good thing about the elbow, too. It does catch people. Darn. The, all this crap hit me. Alright, get up. Get up. No, d another skill coming at me. Uh-oh, that's close. Some other skills being thrown out there. Oh, that was close. No, there goes all my skills. Try to get back in there. Not doing too well. Oh, almost got him. Alright, so who's that over there? Zinc? Oh, he's using a Zoro? Is that a Zoro? No, that's a D'Artagnan again. Oh, whoa, hello. 
Oh, almost. There we go. Oh, oh I was looking for the faint. Oh, whoa, 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 hello. Here comes a Gato Cutch. Almost got hybrid. Oh no, Wawry. Oh no, what's hitting me? What's hitting me? It could have been a lot worse. Oh, nice edge there by hybrid. Oh, Sing just totally. Oh, he blew that Gato Cutch armor. Oh man. Oh, whoa, hello. Alright, almost. Almost. There we go. I did save the kill at least. That's something. I'll take that. <laughs> did the bounce down there. Oh no, I walked right into that thing. Oh, the kick. Oh, barely didn't hit me down. Alright, so let's see. Try to do the weapon skill. No edge off of it. Almost. So close. Let's try to get the armor out before I die. Who can I use it on? Ah, oh, I'm just trying to, at this point, just to mash D. There's too many people around. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Just mash D before I die. That's the goal at this point. Okay, there we go. 04. 04. Too many people in one little area. Need to kind of isolate. He's not the best AoE character. Oh, nice Matador. Oh, nice Matador. He's Matadoring. Ole. Oh no! Got hit by random stuff there. Oh! It's dealing with basically a 2v1 there. Hybrid walking away and flames trying to hit me and walking away. Almost. And of course, why is that psychic trying to hit me? I'm not even swinging at him. There we go. Alright, got him. Oh no! Come on, armor, work! Alright, got a few edges there. So, uh, even though this round started off so horribly, I don't know how I'm... Oh, he's an illusion. Okay. He's gonna pop up. There he is. There's a psychic. And down I go. I will be truly amazed if I get first place at this rate, guys. I really won't know how it happened at this point. I really won't. Try it for that kill there. Almost got it. Almost. Like, I just did awful on Muithai, and I don't. Maybe he does do pretty good damage after all, because, you know, I always kind of underestimated the damage on him and yeah there it is first place <laughs> you'd, you'd be confused as me because I don't think I did that good at all I, maybe I got some lucky edges here and there so let's do one more guys and try to do a little bit better and replace some of the epics so gonna do one more here guys with Muay Thai this time using epics using chain mage armor using chemical helmet and I got the default trinket on still so hopefully we do well with these things it might be a little bit tricky still, but, you know, uh, that's the name of the game when it comes to Muay Thai. Let's try to knock him off. Got him. Awesome. Try to get some feints this round here. Almost there. I'm not sure if he's illusion or not. It might be. Start the pressure on tattoos here. He's got the platinum going on. He's got the chicken wings, too, so that could end up... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we kind of messed it up there. Tatuya, Takuya here, act all natural, eats grass. I don't know what he's talking about. So, laggy there, I guess? I don't know. Whoa, oh no. Oh, the gooey armor. I haven't seen that around for a while. And what do we got here? A cyborg over here. So, I gotta watch out for general there. Let's go ahead and go for this chemical helmet. Try to hit some of these guys. <laughs> Oh, also, oh no, the cyborg got me. Oh man, so that was that was fun though. Let's try to get tattoo. Who is this here? Oh no, oh he got me. Oh this could end up hurting. This could end up hurting a lot. Oh, luckily he exploded that by accident. I think. Pretty sure that was a by accident there. And woo, that could have been a lot worse. Tried to get him there. No luck. Almost edged me there. Do the chain mage armor. Keep it simple, edge on both with the weapon skill, that works. And a little bit of lag here today. Oh no! Had to had to counter that. 
could have been a lot worse there. Him <laughs> with the little tip of my foot, and oh yeah, there's definitely some. Maybe it's me lagging. I don't know. It's hard to tell at this point. Got to worry about people hitting me in the back still. Here we go and get a simple edge there. Ah, now, oh, oh, he just edged himself for me. Thank you very much. All oh, those rockets kind of boosted him up just enough to get me. And Super Mero, are you going to go for me? No, lucky me. Oh, oh, that would have been a feint if I had him alone. Oh, there's a feint. No, I missed it. Barely missed it. And he's going to fall down. <laughs> Weapon skill? Mm, let's go ahead and hock him and kick. There we go. Oh, I was worried about that Templar hitting me in the back. Oh no! Oh darn it, I had an opportunity for juggle. Every time I get something neat getting ready to go, go down, I end up getting hit in the back. It's very unfortunate, very unfortunate. And no hit there, no hit. Oh! No, the horns, the Zalyun helmet! Is he going to get first place off that? No, he didn't quite get it. So let's see. Uh, go ahead and finish him off with Hakuman. Oh! Oh, I couldn't tell if that was going to hit or not. Oh, the Elio wings. Oh, hello, ninja. Oh, missed the faint. Here we go. Did I get the faint? No, still no. Oh, I'm trying to get it. It's not working out too well. Nice nice counterattack there. Oh. No. I'm going to get it one of these days, guys. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. One of these days it will happen. There we go. Go ahead and hock him and kick him. He didn't fall off though. That's unfortunate. No knees. No. There we go. Do a counter on him. He's doing counters on me. Oh my goodness. What's going on here? Whoa. Let's go ahead and edge him with the <laughs> Muay Thai. Oh no, the web, web, web skill. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself. I thought I could get these feints a lot better than what I'm getting. And no, I actually took fall damage off that. That's unfortunate. Hello, vamp. Let's go ahead and chemical helm her. Oh, the vent with his kill. Uh, got chain mage armor almost ready. Let's go ahead and pop it here. Let's go ahead and use the weapon skill. Oh, only hit one guy. Oh no, ice! Woohoo! He's he's a little bit too thirsty there going for me. And he ends up getting hit and Damo kills me. <laughs> and darn it, I wish I could get these feints. I'm really disappointed in myself not getting these things. Oh gosh. The Gumi, Gumi armor. Sometimes it actually works. Hello, General. For a great low rate you can get online, go to the General and save some time. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, look out for the cyborg. Look it out for him. Look it out for him. <laughs> oh, no luck, no luck. So I'm just, I'm just not having much luck with these feints here. I'm a little bit disappointed. I'll try to finish off this Ragnar. I don't know if he's blocking or not. It's kind of weird. See if I can get one of these guys. Oh, there's the faint! There's the faint! Oh, I finally got it! Oh, I'm gonna celebrate! I'm gonna celebrate! You know what? He hit me. I'm gonna give him effort because I, I'm so appreciative of, of him taking the faint from me. <laughs> I'm so happy that I hit it for once. So yeah, guys, you know, Muay Thai can faint off a lot of different things. You have to have very, very good timing. Very good timing. Uh, it's no coincidence in that uh, it's very difficult. It's very difficult. But if you can get it, you can do really really well with it try to get him down there no luck oh a little bit of lag there laggy 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 oh my gosh please don't kill me oh I did kill me I had chain mage armor and trigger ready that's okay let's go back into this I'm getting excited now I'm so hyped after that uh, actually getting that faint I don't even care anymore I don't care oh oh no the horns the horns someone save me no one's gonna save me I get edged that's how we doing. We're still in first place, still. Oh, no. Skills. You didn't have to use all your skills, bro. So, weapon skill. Yeah, I figured it was coming. Ice mage skill on me. Gumi armor. What's next? Titan armor. He's going to do Zalyun helmet. And there goes all my skills again. The collusion right there. The collusion. He stepped back and let him kill me, even. The collusion. Oh, my goodness. Hopefully he doesn't have weapon skill ready again already. Uh, he's going to run away until it's ready, I guess. Who's in first now? Probably Super Meru? Oh! Oh! It actually edged him. I thought he was going to be like kind of like those that Invisible skip on the edge there. 
See if he's got skills. Oh, he's gonna Ragna juggle me. Almost Ragna juggle me. Good job, Ragna. Oh, oh. He's tricking me. Oh, darn it. Alright. Try to anti air him here. Oh, man. He's, just, he's smart. He's playing smart. I gotta admit it. He's playing smart. Counter? Oh, no. oh my goodness. The weapon skill. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so. You know, I think we still managed to squeak out first place just barely. I didn't get to use my skills as much as I would have wanted to kind of capitalize and got one faint, so I, I'm kind of happy with that one faint. Uh, guys, I'm not the best Muay Thai player ever. If you want to become a good Muay Thai, you can do this stuff. You can do this. I encourage you to, if you want to pick up a neat character that not many people have mastered, go ahead and go for Muay Thai. So let's go into HQ and discuss some of the stuff that you might want to master on Muay Thai. So yeah guys, just talk a little bit about Muay Thai before ending the video here. So Muay Thai has got a lot of advanced techniques, but they really require high mastery of the character. So you can faint off the air attack, you just have to be extremely quick. And you can see I was trying to do that throughout the last match there pretty pretty frequently. And uh, you have to be really, really quick with this. You, you have to have pretty much no delay in between that uh, jump attack and your... And your um, dash attack attack there so you can see it looks pretty quick sometimes but you have to be very very quick so there there it went <laughs> so you really got to speed it up speed it up speed it up uh, you can also dash attack uh, faint off your third hit um, it's a little bit easier to do it than, than your uh, jump attack you just have to uh, have the timing correct for that so that works as well you have to still be quick again but it's a little bit more friendly to do that one and then you go into your, like your whole D or dash attack there. <laughs> and you can even do it off your fourth attack as well. So if someone blocks your third attack and you end up just, you know, uh, hitting the fourth attack instead, you can still feign off that. And once again, it requires quickness. And DevK died. So yeah, you can see I need a lot of practice on Muay Thai. So there it goes. There is the fourth attack to the feint. So yeah, if you can get used to that kind of stuff, have uh, mastered the advanced fading, uh, you can end up having some good damaging combos. Uh, you got great pressure again on Muay Thai. You got that um, chip damage as well, which is always nice. Uh, you know your guard breaker pressure. They you put people into a big guessing game where you can end up feigning them with that um, uh, fourth attack off your basic chain, and uh, you also have your feigning off your. Uh, elbows as well. It's a little bit easier if you hit them in the back with this to faint them, but uh, you know, in the front, it's a lot trickier. It's uh, the timing is a lot different in the front, and people can usually block it, I believe. Uh, so I don't think it's always a guaranteed faint with your elbow, but it can work out if you hit them in the back pretty good. It's decent anti-air if you can get it out early in their jumps too. Uh, your dashful D is pretty decent as well. You know, you do that as a combo starter sometimes when you when you got someone fainted, or for a quick edge, you know, you knock them up and then do it your jump attack and get a quick edge off that or something. <laughs> uh, your counter attack is pretty slow. I wouldn't use it too often. Um, you know, mainly it comes down to you know pressuring with basics and trying to get these uh, nice faint opportunities out, which can lead into long, long combos. So yeah, that's what you would really want to get out there. <laughs> and you also have like your combo setups, like you know, you do one, one, two, and then you do your whole D, and then that'll give you time to get a relauncher and then do some more juggles like that. So that's how you maximize your combo potential. You can't really infinite anymore. They nerf that pretty much. It's, it's just, I don't know what they did exactly, but it's definitely different timing. Uh, if it's even possible now, I can't get it. I, I've, I've tried, it just doesn't work out. Uh, also, you know, you you have your jump hold D, which is pretty decent sometimes. It's a nice ground hitter for a little extra damage, but, you know, I'd swap into something else if you're going to ground hit, like Hakuman. <laughs> I'm, I'm a Hakuman ground swapper, so. Uh, your skills, your weapon skills okay, it just kind of lags through people sometimes. It doesn't always hit properly, but... It can work. It can work. It's not. It's. It's not the worst, but it's not the best either. Uh, your armor. It pretty much is lag sensitive. It doesn't work. If it did work, it would be be pretty awesome, but not really. Um, helmet pretty decent. A little bit of awkward timing at times. It's got a, a little okay recovery, but not much range on the recovery. So uh, generally, it doesn't have too much range. So it's a nice surprise once in a while, though. Uh, your trink is actually very very good. It's very good ground recovery. Um, it's a lot easier to faint with it than it used to be so that's a bonus as well so very quick skill there um, it's pretty nice it's pretty nice I like the trinket it's pretty cool uh, so 
if you wanted to stat, I would say strength is good on Muay Thai. Um, speed might actually be okay as well. Even you know, if you want, since you have kind of weaker range and weaker gap closing, you can get in a lot easier with speed, get the, in their faces, which is what you want to do on Muay Thai. Um, and you know, uh, I wouldn't say skills are the best option for him unless you like replace all his defaults into something special. Uh, but he, I feel like he he excels at strength and speed pretty much that's my opinion <laughs> so yeah that'll do it for Muay Thai here today guys sorry I didn't do better with the actual matches I did what I could did what I could so you know he's a hard character to master and I don't spend enough time on playing him to really make him shine but if you want to master him and do well you can do awesome stuff so thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time